Welcome to episode 17 of Breaking Hearts. Kama kawaida it's your boy Hafare, aka Rodney Malik Casino, aka Mr. Wonderful, aka your girlfriend's boyfriend. And today I am a man who hates love. You are to catch us in Valentine's. If you are happy in a relationship, go fuck yourself. Kama kawaida. Breaking Hearts. Wow, watch out too. And it's Suki. AKA Suki Murage, AKA Suki JPEG, AKA Uzumaki, AKA Anita Murage. And I'm happy to be here for another week. Um, I'm not a love hating ass bitch, but we can flow with it. For you should today. try it, it's fun. Really? You should try it. <laughs> and Lord, like, uh, today to we the periphery, you know, to go in the periphery. Wageni. Wageni. Wageni Mashuri Kutoka Nairobi. Wageni Mashuri Kutoka Nairobi. Wakupatiwa soda, nyo wengine ndeni mpatiwa mazi wako kikombe ya plastic. Tendi ya malobi kwa hapa. Ndiyo. Watu wa malobi. Introduce, me introduce. Hapa ni Lukorito. Eki, are you Mr. Lu? Eki, Agent Mgumbe. Eki, a skofu. Hizo zimetosha kwa leo, but lovely kwa hapa manze. Bless. Mr. Lu, aka Yang Lunye Binyo, aka what? Yang Fuge. Uh, it's Young a whole story. Young, Young Fuge, Fuge sto- just Young Fugitive, yeah. Oh, Young ah, Fugitive. Yeah. Ah, I nice. thought you were going to joke some of Fudge. Shout out to Ivan. <laughs> 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 I thought you just couldn't spe- <laughs> okay, I pronounce Fudge. We were talking to Fuge for a long time. Yeah, Young Fuge, man. This is going to be amazing. And it was just as. But mm. before we start, Kwanza, mm. have you guys noticed how hot it is? <sighs> it is hotter than the devil's armpit in in colloquial terms. Colloquial. We, we use big words. Who are you show. blaming for the heat today, Hafare? You're always blaming someone for the heat. Let's I don't go. want to mention that man's name anymore. It's been two episodes to Mangalia <laughs> Ujama. So uh, let's 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 keep it moving. But you know I'm glad uh-huh. it's hot because now like when you can't mm-hmm. do any freaky stuff. Like you can't, you can't, you can't have freaky sex in the heat. You can't have afternoon sex. That's sad. Yeah, <laughs> sure. like, sad. In Nairobi, yeah. it's not that bad. You can't even, you can't even eat ass in this heat, man. It'll taste like battery acid. Need stronger flavor. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, relax. Ona joa asin. Tulia asin. Ona kula maisha na. That's what you're saying, Lukarito. Mungu, mungu, mungu. Let us have any action. Ona joa. You know what? I'm judging you now. <laughs> I, am, I am judging yeah. you now. I'm judging you. 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 i Lyrics to Go, Volume 4, by Kota the Friend. Mm-hmm. Kota has always been like a really good technical rapper. Sometimes he, like, I, I feel like he doesn't get the whole idea of what it is to be, you know? Like he needs a recross in his life. to Monisha, how to build a persona and do more. Mm-hmm. But he's very, he's very, very good as a rapper, technically. There's a song called Wales on the project. Fucking love it. Um, Static selector. Does he still know uh, those visuals mm-hmm. of his? I haven't checked out the visual. Maybe just like nearly paratu apple music, new release. Like, let's keep mm. it going, my boy. Uh, it's not you. It's not me. It's you by Mazi. And I really, it's it's pop. It's pop punk. Um, there's a song on there called Hold on, hold on. What's it called? What's it called? Girls just wanna have sex, mm-hmm. which is really dope. It feels like um, <coughs> late '90s, early 2000s pop punk. Mm-hmm. It's very good. Um, love is love. So it it's a lesbian anthem. Mm. Mm. Nice. Yeah. So checky, mm-hmm. <laughs> peg the patriarchy. <laughs> <laughs> um, went Maybe back to a uh, classic, No No Better by Major Lazer. Mm-hmm. This is like 2017. This is like mm-hmm. when Particular came out. Suakara, mm-hmm. Anita, and Pablo yeah. Vitar. Alafu, that was that was fun. My 21st Century Blues by Ray. Mm-hmm. Ray is a um, she's a pop artist from the UK. She's been in the music industry for a very long time, she just had a number one song in the UK, her mm-hmm. first number one hit. But I didn't like the album. Why? Because it felt very, and I, I, I figured out why. Um, it felt very different. Mm-hmm. It came out of the song. Mm-hmm. And then when I looked into it, it was like, she, she had the album done like seven years ago. So it was the album last year, it was the album six years ago. Mm-hmm. So you can tell that it's the same person, yes, but they didn't write the so- songs in the same headspace. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Like the good stuff is really good. Black mascara is amazing. It's a banger. Mm. But you get to the other stuff and it's a drop off. Mm-hmm. So it's up and down, up and down, and you're like, okay, there's something here because mm-hmm. you have a number one hit. You're out of your record label. Your shit, like your shitty label deal. You have a number one hit. It's fun, mm-hmm. but you can tell that there's something she's building to about Ajafika. I feel like next year when she releases her next album, it'll be more cohesive because now nim tumoja meandika kila kitu in one frame of mind. Mm-hmm. So that was that. And something you sent to me, mm-hmm. Cosmic Sonic by Zeji. Yes. Oh, Such hey, camera ni gani? Zeji, uh, or if you know him. Zeji the fundi. Yeah, Zeji the fundi. Just know this, you are him. Mm-hmm. You are him. Mm-hmm. That album is so good. Now you produce and, I'm, and I mix. He, he mix the cover art. Yeah, everything. everything. Mm. There's a song on there called um, Zoro Senpai. That's the best. Yeah, <laughs> Zoro Senpai on Uranus. It, and it's an it's a one piece reference. The mm. whole thing is just a one piece reference. Mm-hmm. Because if you watch one piece, you know Zoro gets lost. Like he doesn't have a sense yeah. of direction. Mm. So him being on Uranus isn't even like Kitunas <coughs> Ashtuka. Because another part of even the nini, the Japanese lyrics are just mm-hmm. him saying techniques of Zoro. Santorio, Nitorio, Santorio, Nitorio. So much fun. Yeah. I really enjoyed that. If you like um it's how Japanese can I put it? funk. Japanese funk and Great like rock. all that stuff. Yeah. It's really good. It feels like it's very experimental. Mm. Mm. You can tell this is somebody who's having fun in the studio. Exactly. Like doing what they want. And I don't know how is he 18 Nama? Yeah, he's like he's like he's, he's, he's very young. 21 ish, I think. Mm. Yeah. So Zeji, Zeji the Fundi. When you are you danger man. List. So yeah. That's okay. my list. Nice. Uh okay, so I'm just going to scroll through Haraka. Um I'll listen to Jail Time Volume Volume One, uh, which is from Jail Time Rock Records in Cameroon. Um it's actually a record label inside a prison. So it's at the central prison of Douala. They did a music project in 2018, and it's okay with it. It's 24 songs, um, mostly in French. Um, but I liked their take on it's Afrobeat, it's R&B, it's um, drill. <coughs> There's a lot of rap. They're just talking about the experience within the prison, with their homies outside the prison. Like They have directors coming in to do videos. Mm. It's sick. Um, shout out to... Wait, they're doing videos in the prison? Uh-huh. Yeah. Even so BTS somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, that's crazy. And it's and it's um I don't know how to describe it, but it's uh, it's from twenty twenty two. And I thought it was an interesting listen. Shout out to Supreme Green, he's the one who posted it on the Music Heads um mm-hmm. community on Twitter. And then I listened to the exciting sounds of Menahan Street Band. So this is mostly um instrumental jazz from twenty twenty one. Um this band had been out for about 10 years before this project came out. They're widely sampled, that's the thing. That's why I, I felt like I needed to mention them. It's funk and soul, but um, the way that it's been sampled by guys like Jay-Z, Kendrick, uh, Kid Cudi, led me to like have an interest in this album, just to see what kind of jazz they're making. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Cosmic Sonic, you've already talked about it. Mm-hmm. But I thought it was out of this world, mostly because mm-hmm. I like it when I see a Kenyan artist like giving us a new sound, something we haven't really had before. Because psychedelic trap, yes, Kenyan Kenyans are doing it, but like, I can't explain <coughs> how I felt when I listened to Cosmic mm. Sonic for the first time. Because I saw it on the Kapuka Culture page, and then I was like, "Hey, I think I want to check out what this project is about." So even finding out he's twenty one is yeah. pretty fucking mm-hmm. insane. Yeah, um, because beat tapes, because beat tapes by Kili Hippy, because beat tape six. Um, so it's a sixth installation. I always talk about beat tapes on um on the show so i really enjoyed this should also just check out kili hippie's work i'm a huge fan yeah. um raven by kalela i have not uh, i have not i did not find the time oh my I god it feels the time. I, I can't even explain it. <sighs> it's gorgeous it's it's club music but then there's also like hints of ambient so it feels like one minute you're in a bath i mean one minute you're in the club maybe under some rain or some shit. Ketranada's on there, so it's like, there's a bit of hype, there's a bit of drum and bass from um, this Canadian producer, DJ that I like called Bambi. She's also featured on the project, and I really liked this particular feel of Kelela. I don't know how to describe it, but like I said, from the club, to the shower, to the bath, and suddenly the bath is the ocean. That's how I felt. Like, there's a transition of how it's very David Lynch of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, it's low-key Lynchian music. I don't know how to explain it. Um, yes, and then there's Malikify by Eli Maliki. 
He's a Kenyan Ugandan artist. Um, also, his first project in about, I think, seven years. Last project was in 2015. This is more R&B, so I listened to it like right after uh, listening to Raven. So same kind of tempo, same kind of feel. Um, very relaxing. I really love Eli's voice. And I'm hoping to see more in future from Eli Maliki. Mm. So yeah, shout outs to those homies. Um, <laughs> All right, I'm really interested in hearing what you guys have been listening to. So, Atakani Project, Mojambili, tell us. Atakama ni mix. Atakama ni playlist. Kila kitu. Atakama ni mix ya matatu. Tuko sawa na ayo. DJ Tofaz. Atakama ni matatu. Like, I, I find it so weird. Like, I don't know. I start, at some point, you fall off while producing from listening to new music. But I've been trying to get into it. Mi uli patu Spotify ino nichi tupea pondani. But either way, I've been listening to, the project I have, like, most on repeat is called Beware of the Monkey by Mike crazy project it's just like post i will call it like post alt sweatshirt new york it's literally post they call it post slums rap, rap. they had like a group called slums with these other guys adi hakim like some other dudes but like just super lo-fi rap like that's what i listen to every day basically but beware of the monkey by mike there's this project called uh sacrifices it's an ep by this guy called his name is pronounced like, is, is spelled like methane, but like with a DH, but I think it's pronounced Medani. It's called mm -hmm. Sacrifices EP. S similar vibe, <coughs> but like more soul samples. Hip hop too, Tamwayani, as in introspective raps, drums off kilter. That's the kind of move, mood I've been in for the most part. I laugh. Who, I listened to Reven Lenny's project, like the EP she dropped. I remember, I forget the name. Mm -hmm. But there was this one particular song she has that was a single. I just don't remember mm -hmm. the name. But it's a different take. Like it's a different Afrobeat bounce generally that I really messed with. But most of the songs are just you know Revin Lene vibes. But uh, I would say what else have I listened to? That's pretty much it, honestly. Th those are the albums. Uh, those albums I discovered <coughs> like from a month ago. Then you too, you know, when you're in a creative space, you like you know what gets you there immediately. Mm -hmm. So that's what I have on repeat for the most part. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, funny story is uh, I got this crazy CD collection from uh, my aunt crazy. of mm -hmm. things that I we used to listen to like on my way, you know, from like school. So all those CDs that we used to bump in the car, I, I got them. So I've recently gone back to listen to Miss Education of Lauryn Hill, mm -hmm. nice. like Fact. Mm -hmm. from scratch, you know. When a song bangs on CD, it's different. You go Money pick it up and you're like, ah, yeah. in Ngomagai, track number four, you know. Like, yeah. I think I kind of like that, you know. I mean, of course, it's old school. It's, it's not like Ati have subscribed to. <laughs> 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 yeah, but I think. You, you have a CD player? Yeah, man. What? Yeah, I mean, you clutch. Yeah, to. man. Are, are we the ones who are out of touch? No, like, I wanted to get this. <coughs> have you seen this Muji one, the one that they put on the wall? Mm. I really want to get one of those, but like CD player on a top, P 2023. Do even laptops come? Laptops don't come no, with they drives. Don't. Mm. It's just they don't. Yeah. It's like and a it's nice, a, it's a dedicated, like for dedicated, CDs. Dedicated yeah. listening. Banner. That's dope. You know. um, so there's the miseducation of Lauren Hill. There's, uh, I've been listening to a lot of, some call it Juke House, some call it Juke, some call it uh, Footwork. Mm -hmm. But this album by Machine Drum, Machine I can't even remember the name, but the artist is Machine Drum and Kina DJ Rashad. Um, those are the guys who like were the main pioneers in like that type of like very Nika Singeli, Ani Nika Singeli Flange, but it's like <coughs> very like synthy. Singeli is very good, it's dreamy mm -hmm. as hell. Yeah, yeah. I, I fuck with that. So, me at Amina Taka Kwanza could DJ Vitukaizo uns uns. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I think for the most part, like those are some of the few things I've been bumping. Nice, nice, mm. nice. There's a question I have for you guys. Mm. I saw it on Twitter, Jana. It's the discussion actually. Who do you think is the biggest artist in Kenya right now, according to you? Mm. Norma. First of all, how would you even define the biggest artist in Kenya? I That's mean, I mean, there's the <laughs> usual answer. Mm -hmm. Can we? S I'll sing <laughs> Saudi <laughs> soul. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, I, mean, I don't think so. Yeah. It, I, I think I think you need to like I the, the longer conversation is the metrics. It's BN right now. I don't think it's BN. Singularly. The streets are feeling BN right now. Nah, I don't but think so. But you see, like 
what is the street who defines is what the you need to you know yeah. like first uh, now you see that's a tricky question Th- that's the whole point because yeah i feel that's like the, you, uh, everyone everyone has has like, I've, I've, it depends on <coughs> what you're fucking with at the time mm. i feel like i've tried to look at it through streams mm-hmm. and through streams like you know they tell a different story because i'll be like okay this person has a uh, 80,000 one 120,000 Spotify followers and then I ask someone at the keg please hey where are those miss your project in pia x and x alafu they are not hip so i think so and do the juice of it too una jua as in so like if if for me uh, the biggest artist has lazima msio do the amjue as in ka amjue then we are just like in a bubble whether it's streaming a market to ingine Mm. What about metrics? You know? Me, baby, my, like actually, you, you would consider Saudi Soul, but it isn't 2014 anymore. Mm-hmm. So, I would say Ben Soul before Saudi Soul. Say, are you going for relatable artist? Like, no, like for me, because mm-hmm. best is subjective. Mm. Like we can ha- we can discuss the best. Like we can have a discussion who the best artist is, and everybody could make their own point because you like what you like, mm. Sindio. Mm. And there's there's a whole discussion around that. But for me, I think Wakadnadi is the biggest artist in Kenya right now. Because biggest is beyond taste for sure. Yeah, mm. yeah. B- biggest quantifiable. Mm. Right now, I don't think Saudi Soul can put out a song that can go as far as Gary Nengi. <laughs> and it's not because mm. it's not because that they 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 aren't able to. They don't have the quality. I just mm. feel like the the people who consume like the mass market yeah music has gr- has grown out outside of their sphere of influence because mm. yeah. the guys who are who are sharing the music who are streaming the guys who are putting on playlists those are kids in, in campo mm-hmm. those are like high school you know, so high school like getting in national anthem mm. everybody know mc still mc it means nothing we, we have no idea what they are saying yeah. <laughs> the man is in a song saying hi honey i'm home <laughs> and everyone relates to that mm. you know mukenda busy a keg wanajua mm. wanajua for sure ukienda sankara you can play gerinengi in sankara na everyone will shout umbo would you Max. say okay lo max is at the same level okay lo max is coming just asking yeah, yeah. okay lo max is no. like at this point i feel like in a few years okay lo max is gonna eat everybody's lunch yeah okay lo max but like, i don't know what okay, lo max is the producer wait no. yo, yo, i guess you produce pia you produce pia but mm-hmm. singer producer oh, yeah i was thinking about um never mind yeah Do mm-hmm. I I feel like uh there are so many different lanes of Kenyan music where as in when it comes to the metric of like Nani and Amjua mm-hmm. but Wakadina like whoever is the biggest and Wakadina like case in point like tra- has to transcend that because mm-hmm. those guys who listen to like Ethan Muziki Sauti so mm. like as soon as you ask them that they're thinking they're probably even thinking okay Lomax yeah but mm-hmm. me me personally like that's not my steez so I wouldn't jump to that in the same uh, Zenia But you know mm. and there's a case to make off streaming but it's, it's subjective yeah like so two years you, ago i think mm-hmm. two years ago i did an episode of the mics open the first mm-hmm. time i was ever here mm. so we were discussing drake and when donda and Ciel nini certified Ciel Lover, both came out mm-hmm. and we had that discussion we actually but at that time they, they asked me who's the biggest female artist and i think andy said zinia and they mm. realize that maybe we, we exist in different realities co- around the music we consume even no kwa like yeah mm. so you start to think and see it in a way that what i listen to has to be if you're in that bubble kwanza what i listen to has to be what everybody else is listening to it is even impact mimi najua penye niko oh ka kuna show ya zinia everyone is going mm. as in you know so i feel the impact every day and i can be like oh this is the biggest but somewhere else like I always go back to the keg. Like what carried about place ya keg kuna mse. Kila mse as nikisema eh hata tulikuwa hii place and this was happening Aye. and it was hype whatever. Bana kwambia guys are like who ni nani? Ni nani wewe bota ni wewe hebu nione. Boom play yake. Eh. Type thing. So I don't know like you could make a case for Willie Paul Pia. So no one Ioni is ya ingine existence yeah. and hata sijakuwa Ioni like Yeah you can make a case for Willie Paul. You know I just liked or Eric Mondi's tweet Twitter. Mhm. Oh, that's what I just like. You you don't you don't don't say I, I I never post on Instagram but watch everyone's stories. Those people who listen to <laughs> you are going Willy platinum Paul. on WhatsApp status. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Cuz I, I came to realize that here we exist so we have we exist in little islands musically, isn't you? Mhm. Mm-hmm. Like there's this song called Hubahulu by J Melody. Mhm. That song I was in Mombasa and that that song was being played in every club. 
every single club like unaingia tin like the and it samples nure line habibi habibi oh, habibi yeah, nure yeah. so the beat is really good when i came back to nairobi and i was telling guys you you guys are miskia ngoma ya nani j melody like i own nani mimi miskia jina leo but you go on you go on youtube that song has 3.6 3.7 million views at that mm. time as like last mm-hmm. year now it should be in the tens of millions so dunia uko but but me like i own is a somebody only somebody nani bisa okay you said the way lipo in no, different uh, right oh, now like, what would you say mm-hmm. like different right now, for you wakati nani so keep ya so keep ya i'm so curious i don't think there's anybody in kenya right now who can be as big as wakati nali the people who are bigger because they've been here longer facts the, the only reason that you can say they book more shows or they get like a, like they can hold their own events is because they have a bigger catalog and they've had time to kuna infrastructure flani they've been grandfathered in mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but wakadinali people bullied tasca yeah. weka wakadinali on october first mm. no one else alifanywa hivyo mm. people bullied a brand mm-hmm. and when the, when those when that when they did um, the show they were taken to stage 2 everyone left stage 1 to go to stage 2 to see them in fact That's yeah, me. Yeah, at this point I don't know some Saudi soul are bigger because a lot of people who grew up with their music now have mm-hmm. pesa. They have longevity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of the people who grew up with their music have disposable income. So they'll go to the shows. What atakuja? What atakuja shows zote. Wa cardinal wa sawa konayo. Wa tutoa campus wa kona pesa gani mse? Either wende show wa cardinal ama ununue we did chani. I'm not sure what I need to about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think what makes the cardinal strong is also just the fact that they've had like a fair amount of time to also do like groundwork like mm. in the time when people were mostly looking for like an edge in streaming like they'd already done CDs talk to their communities gone around doing like um rhyme gym and all that like mm. that's definitely solidified something for them on the ground that a lot of people who are looking towards streaming immediately weren't catching on to i think I so i'd also say what i did and they've blown up like so many times you know they like have, yeah, because it takes like subsequent me. blowing up at mm. me when i got into alcardinal it was like 2014 like what what happened mm. and i was so late yeah and that was them blowing up to some extent and then they mm. got extra pressure which for me yeah. was you know and then say gary ning ya tuongee tena like mc 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 as in we are out here now People are actually looking forward to what they're going to do next. That's the crazy mm. thing. Mm. Like the video drops have hype. Yeah. Me Mintasma too like right now I don't think there's anybody bigger. You could you could have made a case for Pierre Otile Brown. I don't know Saru maybe. No. Saru. <laughs> <laughs> we, we had a conversation yeah, about this yesterday. I just saw yeah. some performance of of how on, I feel like uh, it was on a random TikTok mm-hmm. but there was just like a big crowd singing. Because she's yeah, a music. She does the yeah. uni circuit etc. Mm. So those guys like but yeah it's a different thing. I think like definitely we can agree on Cardinali. Ah, but yeah. I feel like number 2 Kwenda Chini is kind of hard to rank it because you could make a case for Ben Sol, you could What make a case for friend? Hey, which friend? I'm say we, we don't mention that name on this show. So We're not mentioning I'm just saying it's I told like you. your friend is also kind of Okay, he's big. Hey, he's numbers. big. He's you big. Go, yeah. But like okay, what's his last song? You know like Okay, What's but the they are uh, not what you should do. This is we're talking about Nyashinsky because niggas might be confused there. Don't die might, oh, he's not my friend, sawa. It's part of the law of the show. Mm. Uh, don't die for Nyash. Guy. Mtafanya nitoke hapo by the way. I leave. Unajua okay, the thing is even when I fell off from Wakadinali and they were like do you know they do the the underground hip hop esque releases where it's like yeah. um, like this is only on cd or this mm. is only on hustle sasa or whatever mm. the case may be and then we release it on streaming later on but even then the song that's good just reaches you yeah nashinski yeah, ongoma yeah and and, and, and like i think kapari was talking about it on the last show how like you he was getting into a was it a, a jab Yeah. And that was your first time listening to his music this year. Like you you had avoided it so far. I have I avoid his music every year except on <laughs> public transport. And yeah. if I could pay ningepatia donda roba extra zime yo kitu. Change your mix. Ndakao kombele ne. Ah, isn't it? I'm checking. As in But there eh hey, nikishika pesa I'll be paying DJs not to play his music in the club. <laughs> Na ingia napatia DJ 1010 na sema wewe tu make sure usiple ngoma nyasi sikia ta moja. So does him does him being widely played in that way make him the biggest artist? But That's my question. It's one of the metrics by the way. It's one yeah. of the metrics being like even him being able to pull the crowd in city. I don't mm. know what. By the way, ukitaka kujua Kenya cinema fala. 
Ah, what are you doing? Ni nostalgia, ni fresh prince <laughs> reboot. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a solo show with, with components that nobody's seen before. No. I, like I, I feel like as much as we hate on him, there's some things that. Oh, I'm going to rational. Do, 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 do not try to rationalize my hate. Si jaribu, si jaribu. But yeah, um, I think that, first of all, numbers need to be important. Sana, if you're measuring big, big is quantifiable. Like mm. you can actually look at something and say like this person gets more views than this person. Yeah. And then you can look at cultural impact, the people they listen to, even the mm. words that they use. Does it how does it go into the lexicon? Yeah. Because when people say like Isa Isa was the biggest artist, it's because when Isa was doing his thing, mm. everybody wanted to be Isa. That's true. So like even Wakadinali says they feel it's the same thing. All the little kids, they know get kill to get in Engi. That's they, they look at Scar, they look at Domani and they're like, Yeah, I wanna be these guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh-huh. um, you want to say something? Yes, no, yeah. I, had, I had a question for Lou, but is it still in the same? It's in, in the same vein. Mm-hmm. Mm. 2013, Mark Miller, the late great Mark Miller, put out yeah. watching movies with the sound of. Yes. Mm-hmm. That song, um, the album, the album, uh, the album yeah. uh, went, debuted at number 302,000 copies sold. And this is before streaming, this is before people could fake their numbers. At number? Number three, Billboard, oh, yeah, 100, so, yeah. 102,000 sold. This is before, like, numbers that we are, we are doing as crazy. Mm. So, and I saw an interview of his where he was saying, when after the album dropped, he said, like, mm-hmm. even with the album coming out, I still want to, I still want to exist outside the internet. Mm-hmm. I want to be able to walk down the streets now to a Jew mini, mm. mini Mac Miller. True. Mm-hmm. I, I want to be that person. And for me, I did love it stuck with me because your album just came out at number three and oh, you still so feel okay. like that. So for you guys, do you feel like you guys, you know, you exist in an alternative space. Mm. You're very big on the internet. You've done a lot of projects, a lot of people. Mm. Do you ever feel that pressure of wanting to just be more yeah. than just the presence on the internet? I definitely want to be on a matatu somewhere. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That would be fire, you know. That would be fire. Yeah. Guys like Kina Wangeshi, Kina Sauti Soul, mm. Kina... Nilona Mati Adi Ate or Josie. But yo, let me tell you, Adi Mati Power Nili Choka too. Powers in power ghost. Ghost. <laughs> okay, <laughs> like Lou just started watching Power and Mana. Oh. <laughs> but the greatest show on the I feel like Ju <laughs> Safari Yeju, as in just being alternative, I feel like you're always striving. Mm-hmm. So as in it's never it's almost like never done. Mm-hmm. As in see how to feel like me fanya keep. What's the song with Femi properly? I don't know. Like if I had like a song that everyone is singing somewhere, yeah. Then I would be like, even I have room to be com- like I seen a room yaku are comfortable. Like mm-hmm. niggas still call me Mr. Lou. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. in the inside the alternative space. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I feel like as alternative artists, ju ko home unazushi wabado. Hey, hey, is this music thing? Hey, you know, like you don't have space to feel jaded mm. ever. Mm. So I feel like. Always, not a, as in the conversation about uh, the biggest artist, it's always very interesting because as an upcoming artist of sorts, as in, you don't know what audience to feed or like mm-hmm. what, what ways you can bridge the audiences. So it's always like interesting because you can, I can blow up. Mm-hmm. But, you know, the same conversation, as in, there's a quarter 80,000 streams Spotify. Now I say Kenya and Ijui. The biggest artist on streaming is DJ Black, by the way. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Around here. That's about how many how is it a million streams so far? She has a million streams on love being used, but even like mm. I think just based mm. off that like monthly listeners ETC she's like yeah playing with Ben Soul and mm. but you know there's but then now if you're talking about and that's one single. If you're talking about like are we talking about Kenyans here I'm a Kenyans no, yeah, just elsa. Nim Kenya. Just even like Kenya, Casey, Kenya, Casey, 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 Casey Black last week. Casey yeah, Pluto K- is also Yeah, Casey like, has like a Grammy. I Casey has produced for Kanye. Yeah. Yeah, Bra- that's what I'm saying. There's more See, people he, he, than he yeah. won for he won for Hurricane. He did. Yeah, yeah. Pink Panthers. Pink Panthers. Yeah, Pink Panthers just brought a song with Ice Spice. To claim Twitter, yeah. thank oh. God. Let me tell you, we're out here. Thought Kenyan. you did some Ajim boss. That's what I'm saying. It's it depends what scene you're talking about. Mm. But uh, like, yeah. but back to what I was saying. As in, uh, as a striving artist, Danny ko na hongana roomia. As in, that's always the case. As in, Junesa ko anyway blow up kina Middle East on Nigeria, Nani on Nigeria, but. The Ethan music is circles are not hip. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Our Jewy remix, Jewy Ganyu Lifanya. So, like, I feel like there's always, like, more to strive for as uh, in the alternative space. You see, like, guys, like, I'm trying to think of someone who's been, like, Robert Glassback, Wana Julikana. 
Chris Brown doesn't know Robert Glass. Robert Glass wako anachulikana. But that's that's a, that's, a, that's Chris Brown's fault. If you like we said it. You know honestly because they shouldn't know him in Nairobi. Yes. Yeah. The sound became like repetitive to the point where like when he said they didn't know Robert Glass but it was like of course you don't know Robert Glass but you've been in your own like echo chamber. No progression ni moja tu. You could you did Robert Glass. You found you found your code progression that worked for you and you stuck to it you said making 36 song albums Splice Park. Well it's okay. Go away. There was a day where Suki when mm-hmm. Nini came out um Heroes and Villains. Mhm. And then the, the superhero. Yeah. yeah. Future ikafika <laughs> budget Chris Brown ulifinya siki baraka. Like she's like no I'm only saying to this today. It's like no, like to make a future I love to kafika up Suki was like ah. Nah next. I love it. We want to say Suki here baby. Mm. Eh? No but you see even like Robert Glasper still I feel like he still has that hunger mm. for like Z but whatever you know like Chris Brown obviously doesn't know Robert Glasper because he's been making the same music but he makes music so you should know it but like there's someone else who's like Chris Brown in their music consumption yeah mm. so like there's always like another space to break into so mm. in this context sasa how would you know that now you exist outside the internet With, when you eventually become successful How would you know Sasa? You know there's always one thing that makes you realize where like I've I've moved up a level. Mm-hmm. Like how would you know Sasa you exist outside the internet? Mm-hmm. I mean performances help. Mm-hmm. Um, you know when when you your song hits like those two Ks or whatever however goes tips has impacted people for example like uh when you're out there performing these songs and people are singing word for word I think those are some body language mm-hmm. for you know like API yeah <laughs> like yeah usini ambizo vitu bro i have a connecting question cuz mm-hmm. like when you said that like something rang in me mm-hmm. um about something we've actually talked about lu um that i found particularly interesting in terms of like last week we were talking about how award shows um reward like projects or like things cut a slice in time in some way mm-hmm. and when i started thinking about like what valuable music is to me I thought about like having something in vinyl. Like mm. you guys just released a vinyl with Nero be able to use a group, right? Yeah. So that vinyl is like a limited edition piece that like like people get to have in their homes if they decide to purchase it mm-hmm. to know like that you guys made this project at this time. So mm-hmm. the, um the music NFTs work the same way and like is that a way also to ascertain like what your loyal fan base looks like? Mm. I think since the whole web3 thing is kind of still new. Yeah. Like it's it's a bit for people to also feel like comfortable to just like make the switch to like a new way to use the internet cuz uh mm-hmm. I feel like it's kind of the same but not really cuz once you've sold out uh like maybe if you've sold 10 copies of like a record like yeah. once those sell out like the people who have a copy of it are the only people who who have the, I mean the unique code the hash mm-hmm. that which is the unique code of the original like piece of work that mm-hmm. someone can also resell and you can also like make royalties back off that nice um, and it's directly to you like yeah, there's no middleman direct to <coughs> your wallet yeah and okay how long have you been doing this i mean f- i've been researching and doing a lot of like stocking for like a year but i started doing it properly in like around october Mm. Yeah. So there's this platform I work with they're called Nina Protocol. Um they are basically like a web3 service. Most of the websites are called protocols. Mm-hmm. So that one is just called Nina Protocol. <laughs> fucking dystopian. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you. <laughs> a dystopian. Yeah. I said no, what's next? Yeah. A metal man is going to come and kill me. Inasonka hello mpia. Ndio. Let us like tell me your family is dead. <laughs> Yeah man mm-hmm. but uh it's actually not that crazy basically it's to me I feel like I've seen a few of the benefits like I've made more money um in a short time compared to waiting for royalties mm-hmm. um even bandcamp band yeah mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. such a short time like yeah um but yeah I mean I feel it's just like a new basically it's like being able to upload to Apple Music directly mm-hmm. or like mm-hmm. Spotify directly other than just It's basically like SoundCloud and Bandcamp combined I'd say ah, nice. but the login is your wallet mm. I feel yeah. like what's interesting about NFT is like you kind of have to educate your audience off the rip yeah mm-hmm. not just like when like shows are not happening as much and then you're like ah guys come to shows that's how you meet new artists whatever like you have to like kind of educate people to the platform a lot of now yeah we can inter- okay at least before it's like 
if you're converting your fans there but like i feel like you there's also room to like run into new guys of course you know as in is yeah. are the guys who are buying the stuff guys you know at ea no lukorito 7 just yeah ban it also new kenya like no, it's, it's, it's like it's mostly a people global from because that's the thing like it's just like a totally new thing so pia mm. the networks that you build there like are purely like new for me i didn't know I don't know most of the people who buy buy them unless maybe you click and check their profile names. Mm. Um but I personally don't know them. Um it's yeah, dope. which is a bit interesting cuz the the platform itself is like two years old, but they they're doing like a lot right now to just like market oh, to it. Yeah. So mm. um I was honored enough to like lead the Nairobi branch or whatever. Oh, so, ah, tuko na manager hapa yeah. kumbe. <laughs> Mkubwa so itisha soda. Eh, <laughs> bana. So if when you guys are ready if you if you want to join like the platform, you know. I feel like for artists who are watching because we have a lot of artists who watch. This might be something. Yeah. Yeah, follow Mr. Lu on the internet. He, he might not reply to your message. But <laughs> <laughs> do it anyway. I want to ask you something less technical. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's it's uh, it's it's a very simple thing. You guys listen to a lot of music. Yeah. I feel like you guys listen to way more music than even me or Suki. Mm-hmm. And it's a very simple question. I want you guys to just mention 3 10 out of 10 albums. All of us by the way. Like albums you consider 10 out of 10. What kind of night is it? Okay, but honestly, hata nianze. Just random ones. Eh. What's the game's debut album? The documentary. The documentary. Uh-huh. 10 out of 10. Okay. Stake kudanganya. To say me the game documentary tunenda wapi tunenda wapi i i want to lean into west coast now because i can see chronic 10 out of 10 uh-huh. but i want to see chronic 2001 10 out of 10 album for me i love you. let me come my crazy life yg like i'm just keeping it west coast those are three 10 out of 10 on west coast albums my crazy life yg 10 out of 10 skits just get to your kayo since actual chronic but like the game yg i will i can die by those Mm. I can I can honestly die by those. like like maybe dated YG now like now it's kind of dated because he kept do it like that was his introduction and he kept doing it but those were like albums when I was listening to I was like Imeshiba mm. uh, I don't know if most people know Kilo Kish but Kilo Kish Home School that album is only available on SoundCloud Home School just mm-hmm. the best like from start to finish no skips amazing 10 years ago it's as old as half my life um <laughs> so adanganya watu on the internet my god I'm serious do your googles anyway <laughs> uh, <laughs> uli zaliyo 2003 uh, no zi it's almost half my oh, okay, life okay okay 10 yes i will i go in india na kwa kili yangu the math was not math the math is not math anyway i was um with khalifa the the which one the cover with the green him as a smoke rolling paper rolling, rolling paper, paper. one or two one mm-hmm. That was, yeah, that's that's a classic yeah, you know. that was a life changing moment and then hmm. i'll just say um most of kid kali's music for me you have to choose one shit man album, on the moon album, album. Man, on the man, moon. man on the moon the one with mjb ah okay i forget which one it is but they're all bangers honestly so okay so you end first <laughs> so uh the first one mm-hmm. the law and theory a tribe called quest Mm-hmm. I, I love that album. I, I I love that album so much. <laughs> Perfect. Number two is Love Deluxe Shade. Mm-hmm. I feel like people there's there's a generation gap where there are a lot of people who like Diamond Life and then there are a lot of people who like um Lovers Rock. But Love Deluxe was literally the perfect perfect like soul R&B album 1992. That that album is dripping with sweetness. Like mm-hmm. fuck That is for me if there's an album for you to you know vibe with unapenda mm-hmm. mapenzi if you're in love by the way just listen to that album it's called love deluxe for a reason mm-hmm. cherish the days six minutes long and you don't feel it passing like your time ni kind and danga it absorbs you by the way does that and then uh, a bit of a hipster answer not even a hip like not even a hipster answer like just an old album LA woman by the doors mm-hmm. the doors you need doors. hipster No yeah. like how oh, the doors hipster the doors hipster doors ain't hipster how far are you the whitest hipster. black man i now know no, what ah, what do you mean who doesn't like the doors riders on the storm i'm just Manzi. i know but i'm just 
I'm just putting it out there. The crystal, ay, the crystal shape. Riders on the storm, no matter what. Riders on the storm. And there is a remix with Neat Dog. And Snoop. Yeah. It was on NFS Underground. Two. Two. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Man of culture. So yeah, like um, mm. there's a, there's a lot more, but for now I feel like if you're telling me just listen to th- these three albums forever, I'll be like cool. Yeah, me I'll fuck with this by the way. Yeah. Mm. I feel like that's the burden of the question because like I, I I have so many projects that I find so deeply enjoyable, mm-hmm. um, but I almost always go back to. Okay, I can't choose between Mama's Gun and Baduism, but mm-hmm. like there's something about listening to Erica Badu for me personally mm-hmm. that like puts me in a tea drinking mood. That's it. And I, I liked Mama's Gun especially because I think last week in Kwana Show you a documentary as Aquarians and it was made around that time in the yeah. same studio as um D'Angelo's Voodoo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, another good album by the yeah. yeah, and like, like, like there are like six different albums. I think Black on Both Sides was also made in the same studio at that time. Something by the there was a well. project by Common, mm. and like I think that also just made me attach a lot more to Mama's Gun than I knew I needed before. Um, Aquemini as mm. well, thoroughly love Aquemini, mm-hmm. such a gorgeous project. Um, I believe in Aquarius people as a people. <laughs> Aquarius, <laughs> sorry, sorry to say. Umeta na we ibombo na kulikori. Ah, nelo kwa naskiza tu naima skiwa left. Aquarius lives matter. Oh uh, yes, Aquarius lives matter. Aquemina is a beautiful project. Um, I also just love Outcast in general. Mm. Like they inform a lot of just my general ethos as a person. Mm. Um, ethos, another big word. It's not a big word. It's gonna uh, improve your b- vocabulary with breaking hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put on a diction a word a day dictionary. <laughs> breaking grammar. <laughs> uh, what's my third project? Um, Minutes to Midnight by Linkin Park. Also, just because it, it it defined like the time that I first learned about alternative music. That's mm. one. Or alternative rock in general. Um, and I just love Chester. I love Chester's voice. I love the things that he's communicating in Minutes to Midnight and how like the tempo, it's paced to make you angry, but like also paced enough to bring you back down. And like um, the album colored a lot of my high school. So I love it. Like mm. Linkin Park might be a bit overrated to a lot of people, but I just, I feel like they had universal appeal and that's my take for today. Yeah, that's, that's dope. And I love how everybody's just like completely different. Yeah. Well, me, I was shooting from the hip. I just went <laughs> <like, laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> And you know, when you're talking rolling mm-hmm. papers, I always like, I don't know, I, I, I like rolling papers, but I feel like the, the mixtape to promote rolling papers was much better than Why the actual album. Taylor Alderdice. Yeah. Mm. Taylor Alderdice. Mm. I, I, I really oh, like Taylor Alderdice. You call me Morika Diango. Okay, it's a song in a song like na, what's it called? Amber Ice. That's yeah. the first song. It's you done with Nini the skits with mm-hmm. DJ Markman. Yeah, yeah. Rob, Rob Markman. Markman. Yeah. yeah. Amber Ice, then California. Yeah. And then there's the craziest, craziest sample flip by Harry Fraud on there. Um, it's called Blindfolds. It's, blindfolds. It's, it's the last song, Blindfolds, by Harry Fraud and Ali Produce. With Khalifa and Juicy J. He yeah. flipped a sample by an old rock band called Caravan. Mm. 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 You know it's one of those things that feel like a religious experience. Mm. You know yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know what i I am floating, like my soul is leaving my body. He let me a sponge for I can float. <laughs> number yeah. n- number yeah. 16, now my favorite song. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As in, wow, my favorite song is that so good. That's at the end. I used to say that all the time. Number 16 is the most perfect stripper song ever made. Mm-hmm. 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 Juicy J linking Juicy up, <laughs> with, like Juicy J at the height of his rebrand. Whether we need more mm-hmm. strip clubs? Yeah. In Nairobi, no, wait, yeah, yeah, like they're proper not, strip clubs, but they're not that's well crazy. done. Yeah. No, like, like that, that, that's what I'm saying. What's the point of having all this, all this supply if, like, it's not? First of all, it's not good enough for strippers. Like, uh, sorry, I went to Cadillac. I think on your recommendation. Yeah. Please, why did you not go to Cadillac? Great, not a great why night. would you go to Just Cadillac? Not a great night. <laughs> so, okay, I go to Cadillac. Like, at some point, you have to consider that maybe making the decisions I make isn't a wise life choice. <laughs> <laughs> I follow you, Chokora. <laughs> I know. <But> like, <laughs> going to, like, please don't go to Cadillac. If you're no, watching like, this, don't even find out what Cadillac <laughs> is. Please don't go. I've thrown up outside Cadillac once. 
<laughs> and I've thrown up We're on the fresh yeah, show. That's so funny. <laughs> There's just a sub place lo- with Kokoto there opposite. <laughs> and I was just dying there with like I, I love how <laughs> like Cadillac is it's, it's a strip club, it's just up there. It's mm-hmm. so dingy. You don't even you can't even you do the sign. You wouldn't be able to you find it. Draw. And then the, the, the place. Sock. That's not fair to the strippers. Like there's the just a lot of things that don't work. I'm saying the economy is in shambles. I want better for them. The economy is in shambles. What do you expect us to pay? 300? <laughs> <laughs> no, like I bought, I bought a, I bought a, I bought a black ice for three hundred. Why is a lap dance cheaper than a black ice? Those fact, are the questions fact, you should be asking fact, ethically, Bana. That's why I said proper strip clubs. I don't want anybody going to Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want anybody to so like ex, so excess is the only one that's holding it down. Okay, need us to pick your meal speed. Yeah, I mean my meal speed. Meal dance. Okay, you you have to get a pick and roll. Let's just start by Listen, kicking off. So is it like a strip club thing? Like I think to ni aura. It's like, ah, oh, this is all you have that. No job. Na liko at 31. First. <laughs> we, we need we need more strip clubs. If we had more strip clubs, we'd have more people making strip club music. And strip club music is great. Angela and strip club music. It yeah. counts. It counts. It counts. Actually. So and well, the remix is coming with just conscience. A lot of Mandy's music also. Yeah. 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 Whatever that. Gengeton stripping doesn't... You know, as in... Does it? No. What song is it that? It feels like the strip on has a kuibi at any point. Panda na ata panda na mtizinyele uko panda panda Unapeleka back room kwa wa love dance unarudi bila simu mzee una una simu una wallet au juki nilifanyika ni strip club when I'll come you dance you giri mengi kicheza Shit you should have seen the signs criminal activity bana criminal activity but yeah we need more strip clubs now please please we send a card like I know somebody might want to do it out of morbid curiosity that's hmm. exactly why card like new app please don't go Like you know those tweets on Ambianga please don't search for this thing I'm don't check hidden reply <laughs> and then you basically check basically just done some free advert and then you check you the opposite una check alafu unaanza una realize there's a reason ile ambo ni check so if you're gonna go you'll realize why I'm saying <laughs> I feel like we need just one good one that's not run by my exonko excess excess is oh I don't know it just gives <laughs> my exonko wo woni kama exonko ko ko ndani tweeting about uhuru <laughs> I mean, oh he's not the president anymore we can talk about him how we want it doesn't have the same aura <laughs> yeah, and, like, the, the club that he has in Costo gives me like a vibe of what his strip club would look like if he ha- if he had one like volume is just <sighs> yuck like he'd have a gold themed like strip club excess is kind of classy but not desperate there's just something about no, it but me want to go to a strip club that has gold poles a strip club with gold poles gold yeah. lighting yeah like if you you're the going to charge MGM me experience if you're going to charge me like an arm and a leg please mm-hmm. make me feel like i'm anini i'm royalty make me feel like caesar the all the gold and like golden marble sawa but then would you be using your spoils to go to a strip club at that point labda kani yangu swali tu That would be true Cadillac. I'm sorry. And that true Cadillac. Exactly. You always go back to Cadillac. So maybe it's just for the smaller clubs to readjust villa wana jimane. That's all I'm saying. As in yeah. I just one of them make an overhaul thing and then Mm. To one to Angela na Saundaji. Uko ndani. As in just as that test. We may be talking about na Angela Shaches or Cadillac. Na tujuju utakichende. Ni chezoko saa ijua shafungua. Atujuju utakichende. Upate hapo haga ya after. Unaenda unaenda kunini unaenda ku Okay inatest kama bangi inatest kama battery Safari yako na agenda Ah no me by the no, please no one go to Cadillac usiende ako asymptomatic you are speaking from experience man I'm sorry I'm just saying gani mimi alikuwa asymptomatic I'm sorry kuna vitu zingine hii file ni redacted alikuwa bell peppers ilikuwa ilikuwa blacked out msee permanent mark redacted your file Ama <laughs> see you wanted to open a tequila club see kwa hybrid you can't serve people tequila na like tequila and us is actually quite a nice menu <laughs> and ndimo is like a natural deal <laughs> you know you know what you niggas as in please as in you're ruining my dreams so all i can imagine ni kifikiria my tequila ba ni some random woman shaking us na ndimo ya makwa hapa guy haga iko na sweat mbili at mbili <laughs> okay. No you pay attention to the point where you count them. <laughs> like if he's paying yeah, for it yeah. he's getting everything <laughs> two beads of sweat cascading down. Sweat. <laughs> yeah, men know. writing women. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um we're we about to wrap up for the show. So mm-hmm. plug whatever. 
plug 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 stream you, 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 you're, you're nfts yeah stream how many how many tracks do you produce on asali out of the seven out of ten yeah seven out of ten how many do you sing on uh like four mm-hmm. drama kobiz drama kobiz drama kobiz is a Look, we to have the verse of the year in 2021. Had the verse of the year in Honestly. 2022. It's what I do, man. Verse of the year 2021 liko on Shakes Makena, which you can find on Full Full Condition Volume 1. Shout verse of the year last year liko on Drama Kwa Base, which you can find on Asali by Maya Molo. Asali ya Maya bana. Exactly, mm. exactly. Uh but yeah, Asali ipo. You can find me on Lou and Kabi's project. We have like some few bops up. We had like an uh, Mr. Uh, Lucorito section up here, mm-hmm. but uh, I'm also dropping a beat tip, instrumental stuff to lo-fi under my producer, my new producer name, Agent Mugumbe. Mm-hmm. I love who. What inspired the name Mugumbe? Agent Mugumbe. Mm-hmm. Acha. Acha. Like, Acha. Oh, the, the show. Nice. Yeah, nice. like episode two or something. But yeah, mm-hmm. Agent Mugumbe. I love who. Probably some Expresso Mr. Lu project here and there. Oh. Wait, Namina Yana, like any that's for later. Yana will come mm-hmm. to hit you guys. Studio, mm. studio. Mm. Yana is in the studio with us. In the head. <laughs> so, ako malieni our wonderful studio audience. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like <laughs> Lu. Yeah, man. Anyway, soon we coming with me this year I want to drop more singles. Mm-hmm. So, I just want, you know, to create more anthems for you guys to sing along to. Mm-hmm. Um stay tuned. Um me and Tsuki have a new song coming out called Mganga Wa Isili. Uh, we have I can't even see you cringe. I'm saying you must have government secrets. Government secrets in it all out. It all out. If you've made it this far, you are a real one. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> all I'm saying is Nairobi Lost Tapes will come in soon. We got two albums Zima last year. Oh, ni two album Mzima last year. Unaomba ni kani ile ile kwa episode mnataka tuangalie sana kwa issue lakini tunataka tunataka kusikia video from the horse's mouth you know fara from the horse's knee aya kazi kwa vijana out now on the streaming platforms exactly 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 hi man um that's it for me just i look forward to dropping more singles this year and insha oh and oh yeah and if this comes out before the 17th or if it comes out after the 17th mm-hmm. the vinyl listening party is on the 17th ooh, but ooh, ooh. it's also happened so great nice. na vinyl bado tuiko na vinyl bado iko unaweza nunua goethe 25 mhm eh yeah, man do yourself a favor ka una record player but nunua tu kwa tu nayo for when it finds mm-hmm. but yeah, this come out on the 16th 17th this will this, the, the, the episode will drop on the 16th so ah life is good mm-hmm. life is good tomorrow Mm-hmm. Bado, there's, there's, there's something I haven't said on the episode, on one of the episodes. What were you guys talking about Shags, by the way? Talking shit. Had you ever seen <laughs> Mr. Lou moved to Shags? Ah, me, same But anyway, <laughs> na, all I want, all, a dream of mine, by the way. Heat. All, a dream of mine. Kafar is interlude. Me takatu interlude kwa the next Expresso <laughs> album. Please. I just want one and a, one and a half minutes of just <laughs> me saying the craziest <laughs> things on the most soulful yeah, perfect flute you know eh nataka nataka it sound very Bring relaxing like action bronson yeah. recross <coughs> type beat I go, actually nataka like music they play in the spa wind chimes <laughs> so it feels Bring like back. a it feels mm-hmm. like a lounge it feels like a place where there's a lot of cigar smoke in there everyone's wearing tuxedos mm-hmm. and cocktail dresses nah, like and they're talking mm-hmm. about their investments in US steel mm-hmm. yeah. the music plays in the background so <laughs> i want exactly mm-hmm. in fact nataka ku record in a dinner jacket Nice. So I will come to the studio in a top hat and a dinner jacket. I will f- I will be the person so. Yeah, fine. I could drive for two weeks. Yeah. Inaka uko jacuzzi na towel flani hapa. Luxury. Need, that's what life is. Vodka mm-hmm. music here. Jacuzzi ni vodka music. Jacuzzi <laughs> <laughs> jacuzzi bila shati. Jacuzzi si whiskey. Jacuzzi, jacuzzi venye na sound tu uko unbothered uko hapo si whiskey tu. Utaanza kupigana bila shati. Shangai. Eh, unajua. Anyway guys yeah. thank you so much for coming on the show. No, okay. Had so much fun and uh the, the most important thing by the way, if you've gotten this far the most important thing you should take away from this episode is usiende Cadillac please <laughs> I'm telling you again usiende huko that place is not it, what, whatever you imagine it is it is not sawa it is the stuff of nightmares please do not go to Cadillac okay and usiku this has been episode 17 of breaking hearts mm-hmm. safari and Suki, we had a great time. And our wonderful guests, Lunyebinyo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. 
Peace. Bye.